Okay, listen up everyone. Here's something the government doesn't want you to know. The earth is flat, the moon landings were fake, and you can repair liquid damage to complicated electronic equipment with nothing more than rice. It's true, it's all out there on the internet. Oh no, hang on. Here's the uh, motherboard from a 2014 MacBook Air. It's the 820-3435 logic board. And what your, let me start the capture on the microscope here. <clears throat> uh, what you're looking at here is and damage caused by some idiot pouring an entire pint of water into uh, the laptop um, while it was plugged into the charger and obviously had the battery connected. Charger was removed immediately, um, but unfortunately, as you probably know, with uh, MacBooks or any Macintosh laptop, you can't remove the battery very easily. So in 10 minutes, um, this is how much damage was done. It's the only damage I've found so far. Um, and this is on this is the current sensing on the um, computing high side. And the missing terminal. Uh, I've got a pointy thing here and point it out to you. The missing terminal here. Um, is the chip, sorry, the middle one here. And it looks like we've also got some damage to the track, uh, the test point here. So we're gonna have to run some continuity tests on that. The first thing to do is get this chip off because it ain't working and neither is the MacBook. So <clears throat> let's get that hot air station on this. The flux on there first. The right chip. Here you go. Little tiny blow of flux there. Station, hitch it up. And get this off the board without flipping anything else off the board. I'm probably going to bleach out the microscope here because I'm going to have to look through my magnifier because I can't work on the screen microscope. I don't have a trinocular bench microscope, so I have to rely on my trusty magnifying a lens there we go off you come that's better right let's get this pad cleaned up Let's have a look what we've got on the scope. Okay, pad's not looking too bad. Let's turn that light up a second. Uh, turn the light on the scope, on the microscope. A little bit. Yeah, that pad doesn't look good. Um, let's check for continuity on that.
These probes are going to be too big, I think. I'm going to have to swap out my cheap house probes. Let's try it anyway. So we're going to have to replace that uh, that chip, which is a an INA two one four current sense IC. So on pin five, let's get a new INA two one four. So the correct pin is pin five, so one, two, three, four, five. Flocks of these tweezers. Uh, is it Is that right? So that's pin one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's just have a quick look on the capture. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, so what I've done is I've traced that pin to where it appears elsewhere on the board, and I've run a wire, little jumper, all the way down here, all the way down here, and across through here. Hopefully, that's it finished. Unless I can come across any more nasty surprises. So now for the moment of truth. Um, let's plug it in. And see if it'll boot up.
putting it the right way up helps. Okay, let's plug in our mic safe. And this being a, oops, the sink fell off. Should have gone there. Okay, plug in the mic safe. Green light, excellent. Fan spins. Fan stops. Fan spins. Fan stops, come on. And third time, fan spins. And we have the chime. We have backlight. We have the logo and my heat sinks all off. Back on that. And we boot into the operating system. We have a pointer. And apparently it's New Year's Day today. Isn't that nice? It's not, but never mind. Right. Time to get this through cleaning and screw it all back together. And see if we can sort out the liquid damage to the display, but that'll be for another video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>